hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far uh, in our discussion on uh, fluid properties uh, we discussed about uh, density and specific gravity so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, another important property associated with uh, fluids which is viscosity okay and we'll discuss various things associated with it there are a lot of things associated with it which is very important so let's get started so the first uh, thing is to define viscosity so i have already uh, told you uh, by giving an example of uh, a bottle of water and uh, uh, sauce uh, in the introductory videos uh, that which uh, moves fast or which flows out of the bottle uh, in a quick way in a rapid manner so viscosity uh, if we want to define is that property of a fluid which offers resistance opposition to the movement of the fluid particles okay so it offers opposition or resistance to the uh, movement of the fluid so in the example when i said that uh, if we have two bottles one bottle filled with water and uh, another with tomato sauce and if we turn the bottle upside down the water will flow out easily from the bottle as compared to that of the tomato sauce because of its viscous nature because of its thickness it it offers more resistance to the flow of ketchup as compared to that provided by the water so the sauce or tomato ketchup is more viscous than water so we can also define it as a measure of the internal friction between layers of the fluid now when we when we look at any uh, uh fluid okay liquids or gases we just see them as a whole but actually they are uh, layers of fluid one above the other and those layers they glide they move over one another now this uh, movement of layers one above the other it gives rise to friction between the layers so viscosity is a measure of that friction between the fluid layers okay so this interaction or cohesion between the fluid layers gives rise to viscosity causing the internal friction and this provides resistance or opposition to the movement of the fluid layer so you can imagine the fluid layers like this okay so one above the other this is we we have drawn uh, rectangles but it is not that it is a uh, very uh, uneven in nature i just for to, to simplify the diagram i just uh, the layers i have drawn in the form of rectangles but actually it is very uneven in shape they have no definite shape so irregular shapes but they are in layers one above the other and because of the interaction between these layers there is a friction which is called as viscosity okay so the viscosity or the interaction between the fluid layers this gives rise to shear force or shear stress between the fluid layers okay suppose we have uh, let us consider two layers of it okay just two layers of uh, these let they be separated by a distance of dy let the top layer is uh, flowing with a velocity of u and this uh, bottom this the layer just below that has a 
more uh, slightly higher velocity let us say u plus du where du is a small the difference between the two velocities ok. The separation between those two layers is dy and the difference in the velocity is du ok. Let us just consider the top two layers ok any two layers. So, because of this relative velocity and this interaction or the friction called as viscosity of the fluid the shear stress acts on the fluid layers. Now, this happens for all of these layers ok. Because of the difference in the velocity of the two layers and because of the viscous nature of the fluid the, the viscosity the friction between the fluid layers shear stress acts on it. So, if you are confused about uh, what a shearing stress is or shearing force is so, shearing forces I have already told you they are misaligned forces which uh, act on an object one group of forces they try to move the object in a particular direction while the other group of forces they try to move the object in the opposite direction. So, shearing forces are misaligned forces acting on an object trying to move it in opposite directions. So, shearing forces they act on fluid layers ok it is because of the viscosity or the interaction between the fluid layers and the relative velocities because of which the shearing forces act and they try to uh, move the fluid layers in opposite direction. So, you can visualize it something like this ok. So, let us say we have uh, on, on an object you can visualize a fluid layer as well what happens the shearing forces one group of shearing forces that try to move the object in this direction while the other group of forces that try to move the object in this direction which is opposite to each other ok. So, the shearing forces they move the object they try to uh, 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 force the object to move in opposite directions they act in opposite directions because they are misaligned. So, this is what a shearing force is. So, because of the interaction of the fluid layers and the relative velocities between the fluid layers shearing force acts on the fluid layers causing shearing stress or pressure. Now, we can relate this velocity this separation distance the shearing stress by a law ok which is called as Newton's law of viscosity which brings all of these factors or parameters together ok this law ok Newton's law of viscosity. So, according to this law it's, uh, it, it states that the shear stress on the fluid layers ok because of the shearing forces it is directly proportional to the rate of change of velocity of the fluid layers with respect to the separation distance between the layers ok. So, what I am trying to say that the shearing stress which is represented as tau ok the shearing stress or the shear stress it is directly proportional to the rate of change of velocity between the fluid layers du a small change in this uh, velocity the between the fluid layers divided by the separation distance here. The separation distance between any two layers here we have considered these two top two layers the separation distance is dy and the change or the difference in velocity du this has a velocity u this has a velocity u plus du. So, the shear stress is directly proportional to the separation distance uh, the rate of change of velocity with respect to the separation distance du by dy. So, when we uh, insert a constant of proportionality here it becomes tau is equal to mu du by dy. This mu is called as viscosity or the coefficient of viscosity ok. Shearing stress is equal to the coefficient of viscosity multiplied with the rate of change of velocity between the adjacent fluid layers with respect to the separation distance between them ok. 
So we can write if we bring this uh, du by dy to the LHS it becomes dy by du so the coefficient of viscosity becomes mu is equal to tau dy by du okay tau or stress has the same units as pressure dy has units of distance and u uh, units of speed or velocity so the unit of viscosity becomes newton second per meter square okay in si units so this is uh, what viscosity is all about okay newton's law of viscosity brings all of the factors or parameters affecting uh, the fluid such as shear stress the separation distance between fluid layers the relative velocities between the fluid layers uh, and viscosity all of these factors are brought together and we get this formula for viscosity now there is another uh, thing associated here which is the kinematic viscosity so the kinematic vis viscosity of a fluid is defined as the ratio between the simple viscosity and the density of a of the fluid okay so it is denoted by this symbol new so mathematically kinematic viscosity is viscosity simple viscosity which is uh, this mu and density of the fluid so nu is equal to mu by rho and uh, the unit of kinematic viscosity is meter square per second so simple terms kinetic kinematic viscosity is the ratio between viscosity and density of the fluid okay so here we have discussed uh, about uh, an important property of uh, fluids which is the viscosity and uh, uh, we have uh, discussed about the various concepts associated with it and an important law which relates which brings together all the factors giving rise to viscosity shear stress and uh, all things so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much